I announced that I'm going to run as a candidate for the leadership of the Conservative Party. It's time for me to get in the race at this point. You know, I'm watching what's happening to the country like every other Canadian, and I'm realizing that there's that awful feeling of failure in Justin Trudeau's mandate, and I can measure it by the fact that the economy is grinding to a halt. I was amazed when Trudeau didn't pivot after the Trump election in the U.S. He kept on taxing, kept on with carbon, kept on with regulations, and as a result, there's no more jobs in this country. It's a very uncompetitive place now. I'm going to go to Ottawa and fix it in 2019. What is wrong with Ottawa? What's the, what, why is it not functional in your eyes? Because you've got to realize we're in a global competition. We're in a global competition for ideas, for capital, for commerce, for trade. Our largest trading partner in the in the United States south of the border is changing all the rules and we've got to move with the times. I was shocked when all of a sudden when they are eliminating carbon taxes, they're reducing regulation, they're making taxes lower, we're doing the exact opposite. We're swimming in the wrong direction. And you can, you can... Can we start there? Yeah, yeah, I do the kick that makes sound like a new. Okay. So, so here's the problem with Canada right now. What's occurring with our largest trading partner south of the border is they're reducing taxes, we're raising them. They're eliminating carbon taxes and going to a more efficient way, reducing emissions, we're raising carbon taxes. We're making all of our regulations, makes our industries less competitive. So you think about this. If a new plant, if somebody wants to invest a billion dollars in a new automotive plant, they're not going to put it in southern Ontario, they're going to put it in Michigan where Trump's made it far more competitive. That's easy to understand and then we lose thousands of jobs. We've, we've lost tens of thousands of jobs in Alberta, in Ontario. The country is swimming in the wrong direction. Somebody's got to fix it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to go to Ottawa in 2019. It's not going to be an election. It's going to be an exorcism. I'm going to cast out the malaise of all these policies that Trudeau's put in place. We've got to get rid of him. Now you're going to be called uh, the next Trump. Are you the next Trump? Or the I, Canada's I, version of the Trump? I get that comparison every day. Here's a fact. I'm actually born from Lebanese and Irish immigrants. If there were walls in Canada, I wouldn't exist. It's that simple. This is a country built on people that had hope, regardless of race or religion, and wanted to find a place to grow their business and their families. That's where I came from. So no, I'm not Donald Trump. There's no way to measure me. I'm not. Our problems are different. Our problems are jobs in Canada. We don't have any jobs in Canada. Now, you're, whether you want it or not, your wagon's going to be hitched to, to, to Trump in the States. They're all going to say you're just a Trump. And his popularity is really low now. And he can't even fill seats at his own inauguration. How are you going to try and differentiate yourself from Trump? Because it's all about the policies. People, when they hear ideas, and that's really what this debate is all about, we have to show as a Conservative Party that we can do two things. Bring better ideas that people trust to make a better Canada. And that has nothing to do with Donald Trump. And secondly, we've got to win back all those voters that 18 to 35 years old that went to Trudeau. He made great promises. He hasn't delivered on any of them. I'm going to spend the next, next two years as leader of the Conservative Party, not in Ottawa. I'm going to speak to young Canadians because I want them to understand they can have the same opportunity I had. And I'm going to show them how we're going to get there. Ideas and policies make Canada work. Canada cannot fulfill its promises in healthcare, in education, in military at 0.7% GDP growth. We need to get it to three. I'm going to get it back to three. That's it. That's the goal. And I've told the Conservative Party, if I don't deliver a majority mandate in 2019, fire me. You are not a political person. You have never been involved in politics. You just recently got a card saying you're a Conservative member of Canada. How is that going to work against you? Or how are you going to fight, swim upstream from that? Uh, because there, you know, we know the, the cliques in Ottawa are pretty entrenched. You're absolutely right. I do not owe anybody anything. I have never been a politician. I am going to Ottawa with, I, have, I don't have to grant any favors. My government is going to be about efficiency, productivity, and transparency. The definition of a great leadership in business is someone who can find great people and ask them to do extraordinary things. You know, you think about Trudeau, let me give you an example, his caucus. He made, he wanted diversity in, 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 in you know, all of the ethnic discussions he had, it's very important. He said we should have diversity there, we should have it in gender. I totally agree. Men and women from all kinds of backgrounds, we should populate the government with them. But he forgot to ask for executional competency. Could they ever do the job in the first place? Now I see a caucus loaded with mediocrity and he moves them around like chess pieces. It's terrible. These, these men and women, while they're fine people, are not qualified to do these jobs or do the work of the Canadian people. That's not the kind of people I bring to go to work. When we 
set this up again in 2019, everybody on my team will have diversity, lots of men and women, lots of different people from different places around the world that are Canadians, but they'll have executional excellence. They'll know how to do their job. I don't hire mediocrity. That's not how I made my money. That's not how I run a business, and that's not how we're going to run Canada. Your French stinks. How are you going to overcome that? Because <laughs> Ottawa, the French, are a very powerful one. You're absolutely right, and I'm immersing myself in trying to get people to talk to me in French in business every morning. People say you don't speak French. C'est pas vrai. Mon français devait mieux chaque jour. And I'll tell you something. The three languages in this country. There's English, French, and the language of jobs. I think my French will get better in the next two years before I debate Trudeau, but he will remain illiterate in the language of jobs. He doesn't know how to create jobs in this country. Thank you. Thank you. Anything you want?